Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is James and this is Killing It Country. In this video, I want to show you guys my plow that I have recently added to the loader of my Kubota BX25D. It's not a new plow by any means. It is a Kubota. It is a B2160. It's well used, no doubt about that. I got it off of Kijiji here in Canada, which I guess in the States is the, the equivalent to your Craigslist. It was 50 bucks. I thought it was a real steal. It came with the female receiver and I purchased this bracket here from, I believe they're called AI2 products in the States. They specialize in uh, BX attachments. That thing just pins right on to my BX6315 quick attach bracket here on my loader. And it's really handy. Um, I could not have picked a better time to grab this thing because my uh, snowblower is not working right now. Um, it's really good. It's great for when you get a small dusting of snow and you need to, to get it cleared up quickly. And it allows you the flexibility of using other attachments on the loader at the same time without having to switch the tractor over to the snowblower because then it's, you know, when you're in snowblower mode, you're in snowblower mode. It's kind of a pain in the neck to switch this thing back and forth between, uh, winter and summer operations. So to have the loader on and have an attachment with capability of moving snow is a, uh, is a real advantage in my mind. So, uh, I got a little bit of snow out here on the trails and, uh, I've never, never tried to use this thing to move snow. Uh, in an area where there's grass underneath. So I'm kind of curious to see how it's going to go. It might work well, it might work terribly. I guess we're going to find out. Uh, I do have uh, an adjustment pin on this. So I'm going to try out a few of the different angles and just pop that pin out. And uh, the whole thing can change directions depending on what way you want uh, the snow to fall off on. So we'll get this camera set up on one of the trails and we'll give this thing a go. Not bad. Every once in a while it seems to catch and have its way with the tractor and push the front end around, but Kubota BX is a small machine, that's to be expected I guess.
I'm finding that if I have the loader controls in the float position, it's too difficult to steer the tractor, so I'm just keeping the bottom of the blade off the ground a little bit. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. That's, that's a little bit impressive, if I do say so myself. So I'll set this thing up down here for you guys and do a couple of runs back and forth and get an idea what this thing can do. Okay. Just gotta remember not to get carried away and plow the camera over. pretty good so yeah you can see how I was able to pivot that thing back and forth and this is just awesome having this welded up here check out this welding job I had a friend of mine weld this up for me Definitely a nicer welding job than I would have been able to do. Something I need to practice on. That adjustment pin 
for angling the blade hangs down a little low, but it's a 3 8 pin and not a half inch pin. I'm waiting for one to arrive in the mail. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. Looks like I might need a new skid shoe there. But yeah, this thing was well used, but I mean, come on, 50 bucks? How can you go wrong at 50 bucks? It's too bad in order to make it work, I had to spend $450, but what are you gonna do? So yeah, nice little alternative to a snowblower. Quick and dirty and lets you keep the loader on so you can use your bucket and your forks and whatever other attachments you wanna use. So let's keep plowing. this tractor back in low gear. That spot's just a little bit too deep. It's the first time I've tried to do any snow removal on the trail in that location at all this winter, so won't be able to get through there with the plow. Let's turn this thing around. Hill.
turn this thing around. Plow snow off in the other direction. Well, I do not think you could have a better size plow for a tractor like that if you wanted to set something up similar to this. 60 inches wide, it's perfect. Did I mention it's minus 13 out today and my fingers are frozen? So until next time, I'm going inside to get warm and stick around. Maybe you want to subscribe. There'll be all sorts of cool stuff like this coming up. I'm excited for spring. The channel is going to get pretty interesting. Take care, guys. Bye.